Welcome to another video. I have a tetration exponentiation equation and I actually had a hard time solving this um, equation algebraically so I quickly plugged it into Desmos and I was able to get a graph. The graph showed that there were two intersections between the graph on the left and the one on the right. One of them was zero and the other was two. And so the two answers are zero and two, but I do not like accepting the fact that zero is a solution to this. If you have a valid explanation, please let me know. But I don't think that zero raised to power zero is equal to one. And that's part of my problem with this, because I'll have to accept that zero raised to power zero is equal to one. And I need an argument to support that. It's not a limit. It's just zero raised to power zero. I don't think it's equal to one but in the comment section, say it nicely, okay? Because I've been reading some very angry comments um, in the comment section. Let's just be nice, let's be civil, let's be kind. Let's get into the video. The second answer I was okay with because it was two and I saw it on the graph but I still had a hard time being able to show that algebraically here because if I plug in two I know I'm going to get my answer so the left hand side is a tetration this one is x to the x to the x to the x that's what this means it's a tower of four x's and on the right hand side what I have, x cubed. So what do I do here? Well, I can make this into a tower because this is all x's and this is four, this is three. So definitely I cannot build a tower on the right. So what I'm gonna do is take the natural log of both sides. Don't forget when you take natural log, this is what you're dealing with. It is what is sitting on the floor that you're focused on. So don't try to take the natural log and bring down this X. You, you have to bring down all three. So if we take the natural log of both sides, we're gonna have the natural log of X to the, hey, come on, of X to the X to the X to the X will be equal to the natural log of four X four to the x cubed. Hey, come on. Okay, so now I bring down all three of these. I have x to the x to the x, natural log of x equals, if I bring this down, I'm gonna have x cubed times the natural log of x. So, this is what I've got. No, natural log of four, of four, come on. Hey. <laughs> okay, now, so what can I do here? I made an attempt to move all the x's to one side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this x cubed to this other side. So I'll be doing division. Okay, so watch what's going to happen. I'm going to have x to the x to the x divided by x to the third. I'm using this sign because I want to, I want to show you something. Now, and... I'm going to have ln of x remaining. I still have ln of x. And on the right hand side, I have just ln 4. But I'm going to write my ln 4 as ln 2 squared, which is 2 ln 2. Okay, let's take care of this. This I can write as, remember, when you're dividing two exponential expressions um, and the bases are the same, you can subtract the exponent. So the exponent here is x to the x, the exponent here is 3. So I'm going to write this as x raised to power x to the x minus 3 times the natural log of x equals 2 times the natural log of 2. Now this is where I got stuck because at this point I don't know what else to do. So what I did was, I went, what if I say, I assume that the natural log of x is the natural log of two, and I assume that this is the same as this, comparing both sides. 
Can I do that? Leave it in the comment section because that was the only way I could figure out what the answer was. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to compare both sides, comparing both sides. So what I did was I said, let natural log of x be natural log of two. So natural log of x equals natural log of two, which implies that x is equal to two. And then I said, let x to the x to the x minus three be equal to two. Is this true? How can I solve this? Well, I couldn't solve it because I already said x is equal to two. So I came and plugged it in here just to see if I was gonna get two. Yeah, it's a very crude way. Well, this is a strategy for solving competition math. If you go for an Olympiad competition or whatever kind of competition, this is a way, just guess. Even if you can guess from the beginning, sometimes that's the only way out. So let's check if this is true because if the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, then we're correct. 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2, and we have minus 3 um, will be equal to, let's do that. Remember when you do um, tetration, you start from the top. So this is 2 raised to power 2, that gives you 4. So this is actually 2 raised to power 4 minus 3, which is 2 raised to power 1, which is equal to 2, which is correct. My check has worked out. So that means I can confidently claim that x equals two. But the way I did it may be crude. I would like to know if there's an, an alternative way to solve this. But that's it, x equals two is another answer. One of the other answers is x equals zero. And you can clearly see that by just guessing. But if you put a stack of zeros, does that make this side one? Because this side is gonna be one, what well, zero raised to the power zero to the zero to the zero be equal to one? Yeah, that's why it was hard for me to accept. But it was on the graph, there was this contact between the two graphs. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.